of the three brand new Noriko styles for fall 2021. I think this one is my personal favorite and I'm going to show it to you today in a never before seen color called Desert Sand R. I'll tell you why I really, really like this style coming up. Meadow is a short little layered bob style with some fringe, a slight soft angle to it, and some other modern touches. But let's get into this color first, and then I'm actually going to do an unboxing that I previously filmed. So I'll put up that footage here in just a moment. So let's get into this color, Desert Sand R. So many of you have been asking about this. Now the official description from Noriko, I think it said that it was a dark, warm blonde with some cool light blonde highlights. But I really want to give you my description from my own eye uh, on my particular piece and color application. So what strikes me first about this color is that it is a light, warm, honey brown. Light, warm, honey brown. Absent of any highlights, this might just be a, a, a sandy, a, a, a nondescript kind of a sandy, boring color. But then when you add the highlights, it just makes it really sparkle and makes it really fun. These highlights, I'm looking at two different colors. I'm looking at more of a pale gold blonde and a pale neutral, kind of a satiny blonde highlight. These highlights are very fine and well blended throughout the style. So no big dramatic highlight pattern here but it gives the, healthy, the hair a nice healthy glisten, doesn't it? There's no inordinate shine at all. So if you're picking up on that because of the lighting, there's no shine on this style. And all of those colors are mixed up on a medium brown root. Now that root is so subtle, it's just so natural looking. I mean, so believable and natural looking. It transitions well and it really complements this color very, very nicely. So it is kind of neutral leaning warm overall, and it's not too bright. So I think this would be ideal for you if you like the darker, dirtier blondes and or the very light browns. So there's a lot to love about this style, but I wanna give you all of the information. The style really comes to life in this layering. So that front fringe is gonna be about four inches. You'll see a six inch layer off of the crown, a two and a half inch nape, and then probably another six inch layer off of the side, giving it a little bit of angular structure there. Um, it tapers down in the back, leaving it a little bit of bump and profile at the crown. My favorite part though is this fringe bang. Uh, this fringe bang is really something to write home about because it isn't too thick um, and it's very, very well done. It's a nice wispy bang effect here. It has a bit of an undercut look to it. Now what I mean by undercut is you'll see the fringe, but then over top of that, you're going to see these sides overlapping that fringe. That just gives such a flattering look, I think. So if I bring that, that, those sides up in a way, you will see that that fringe bang runs temple to temple underneath those side layers. So that'll give you some cute little options for styling to expose that full fringe. But while I'm up here, you'll be able to sense that it's not cut. It's very fine and it's been thinned a little bit there at the front, giving it a nice wispy appeal. I think the length is just right. It can be swept over the eyebrow. Uh, depending on your measurement, it could even be worn straight down. Nice wispy bang. So this features uh, the traditional cap by Noriko. Um, so there's no lace and no monofilament. And what you're gonna find with this cap is just one of those Noriko workhorse caps that wear like iron. And based on the length of this fiber here, you're just gonna get lots of wear with proper maintenance, lots of wear out of this. Noriko does a nice job. It's a very hardy cap construction and fiber. Super lightweight, right around 2.6 ounces. The density is just an average density. There's not too much hair here. 
Um, each one of these fibers is a nice medium denier and it has a soft kind of a waxy Noriko feel to it. The only thing I don't like about the Noriko fibers is that this particular kind of fiber tends to get stringy very, very easily. It kind of looks greasy and stringy. So you have to bring along a brush to kind of just brush that fringe out a little bit from time to time, especially if you find that you are working it with your hands throughout the day. A nice light density on this style and you will find some permatease. So there's a lot of permatease on this style as you would expect. Now we would like to draw a comparison uh, with the Nima style by Noriko, which was new for 2020 or 2019, I can't remember. Um, but Nima is a very similar style to this. It has a little longer fringe. Um, there's a, a thicker density on Nima and there's more permatease on Nima compared to Meadow. Um, so I really love the way this is done. I think it's just the right amount of permatease in all the right places. In fact, if you just get in there and use your last fingers just to spring up that part, it would be very difficult to look down in and see any presence of nesty type permatease. I think it's really nicely done and that permatease does give you the ability to get a little bit of a lift on the top. So you're gonna be able to get some lift at the top and the crown. I know that makes a lot of you happy, uh, but those that are permatease and lift averse might want to avoid this style. So are you ready for a clip of the unboxing of Meadow? I'll go ahead and put it up now. I actually did this unboxing yesterday. Um, I was just working in my office, no makeup, and that's typically my everyday look. So you'll get to see a glimpse of me in my natural habitat. <laughs> All the typical Noriko packaging here. In fact, uh, the way you've seen metal on me uh, earlier is exactly the way it looks right out of the box. It's pretty much what you can expect. You don't have to work at this style. It's a true shake and go kind of style. Um, pop it on and go. I like to call it plug and chug because I could just plug it on and chug out the door. There is some permatease there, so you're gonna to wanna to separate the hair fiber from the permatease by giving it some good shakes and some pulls there at the root. Uh, when you apply it, you might even wanna swirl around at the hairline and so forth. That's gonna wake up the fiber, set free the movement, and give it a nice natural look. So now I'll go ahead and do a spin for you here in the studio lighting as well as take you outdoors uh, for a look at this color. And then don't miss the styling because the styling segment will really tell you what this little wig style is capable of doing for you. And because it is an open basic cap, I feel like it's an affordable price point as well. So let's try Meadow with glasses. Beautiful fit between the ear and the ear tab, very nice and secure. So it gets my stamp for a glasses friendly style. I hope you can join me over at Wig Studio One. See the links below this video. We'll see you soon again on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.